since the blue initial blue list required thermal, what do you find public safety agencies are doing when they don't want thermal and they don't need to pay for that high value sensor? They're just trying to get eyes in the sky with an RGB camera and there's not really a blue manufacturer that's doing that, especially at, a, at an affordable cost. Yeah, no, that's that's a great question because the, the challenge is, especially like what, what happened here in the state of Florida, uh, because they adopted pretty much the blue UAS list. Um, and, you know, we, we could we could spend two days talking about the, the process that took place there on the political level. Um, but the challenge with that is because it was just such a, a, a quick uh, check of a box that it did leave a lot of folks um with their hands in the air, uh, well, because of pricing, right? At the end of the day, thermal is expensive on drones. Now, the good news is most agencies, uh, one of the capabilities they want is to be able to have night operations, right? 24 hour capability, that's what we want. Um, but for entry level agencies that had very, you know, small budgets for drones, um, thermal was never, may not have been in the picture yet or was going to be down the road, but we've kind of, because of the, the way the, you know, I'm, I'm speaking for in the state of Florida specifically, um, the way that the, the, the you know legislation went down, it really kind of pushed a lot of folks out of the the ability to be able to jump into those um, uh, into the into the thermal into the thermal place or out of the thermal place, I should say. But the um, uh, you know, when you look at that from a, a grand perspective, the fact that when you're leaning on DIU and this nothing is DIU, these guys are just doing their job, right? They, they were told, hey, make us a list for fed for dod um when when public safety adopts that without doing their due diligence i'm not i'm not saying public safety folks but the, the legislators adopt that for public safety without doing due diligence it um it has a huge financial significant financial impact on on a, folks that have been using drone technology for a long time so um you know it's unfortunate there's there's a lot of agencies i can tell you in the state of florida i would say there's you know maybe at least 20% of the agencies that we've spoken to that have the, the end capabilities because they just can't afford to dive into mm -hmm. those, the blue UAS level drones. Um, so um, it, it's unfortunate, but that's on, you know, that's the direction we're moving and we're, we're seeing that across the board now in other states that are adopting kind of the same, same rules. It looks like they're learning a lot from what happened in Florida. Um, you know, we could talk about that too, the, the, the organization side and all, all that good stuff, but it's a challenge. I can I know firsthand from some of these folks. It's a challenge. 